Today I'm going to show you how to get a Hunter's Repost Memento and the Defender of the Damned title. Alright, first things first, this is a guide for the A Hunter's Cry adventure, and if you don't know what an adventure is, it's basically a time limited story mission. This one in particular is available until September 1st. After that, the rewards will be unobtainable and the adventure will not be playable. Now, just quickly, a few things about the rewards. The Hunter's Repose Memento will be given to you upon completing the adventure. Now, this is a trinket, which means you can hang it up in any captained ship, but it has to be a captain's ship. You can't just hang it up in any ship. You have to actually own that ship to hang it up. Now, if you complete every single deed in the adventure, you will get the Defender of the Damned title. Deeds are basically kind of side challenges. I'll mention them whenever you're near them, but most of them are pretty easy for this adventure. Now to start this adventure, talk to Lorena and hit the Begin Adventure option, then go to the dock and talk to the Power Lord and hit Continue Adventure. Power Lord is going to recommend you stock up on supplies before you leave. This is a good idea. If you're on a captain's ship, I would recommend just talking to the shipwright, buying cannonballs, planks, and fruit. Pirate Lord will have opened a big portal. Once you go through the portal, first you'll go through like the loading area where the Pirate Lord will brief you on what's going on, and then you'll be teleported to the Twisted Sea Dogs Tavern. Now, there's a couple things you should know before you get here. The Twisted Sea Dogs Tavern is basically an escape room. You get in there, you have 45 minutes to clear the entire thing and solve the puzzles. If you don't, you will have failed and teleported back out to the real world. Now, you're not alone in this escape room and other players will either come to join you or you'll join other players, which means when you go through this portal, you could end up in a half finished escape room with like a galleon and two sloops in it or something. And if you're already doing this, other ships could join you. So you could be halfway through and then a galleon comes in. Now, the thing is there are no special like PVP rules or anything in the Twisted Tavern, which means other players can kill you. So if someone wanted to, they can come in and sabotage your efforts, which kind of sucks, but there's kind of a blatant issue right now where people will come in and then just board your ship and spawn camp you for fun, I guess. I don't, I'm not really sure what's what's going on with that. But if you get into a twisted tavern with people who are like spawn camping or whatever, don't try and finish the adventure, just, just leave. If you go to your quest table, you can just cancel the adventure. That'll teleport you to the leaving tunnel and then you just leave. Chances are you won't be able to finish it in the 45 minute time limit if you are being camped by people. Also, the pirate lord will occasionally chip in and tell you if you're running out of time or not. All right, now that we got that covered, we're going to talk about how this escape room actually works. So once you get in there, you will see the Twisted Tavern along with three lighthouses. One to your left, one to your right, and one at the back, kind of around to your right. Once you get there, you're going to want to head to the lighthouse on your right. Also, there's a bunch of ghost ships circling this. I would recommend shooting them. You need to kill at least three of them if you want the title, but they don't seem to respawn. So just try and take out as many as you can, and that way they won't continuously be shooting at your ship while they circle. Also, side note, if you sink, you will just respawn in the Twisted Tavern. So you don't have to be too, too worried about that. I just think the ghost ships are annoying. Okay, so then sail to the right lighthouse over here. Go over to this brazier and collect the Soul Flame. Then turn around and light the two braziers at the bottom of this walkway. That'll cause the lights all the way up here to light and open the tower. You can go in the tower, throw some gold if you want it, and run all the way up to the top. And you can kind of just run past a lot of these phantoms because there's a ladder at the top, but get to the ladder, climb to the top, light the beacon. This is also a deed. So if you want the title, you or your crew has to light at least one of the beacons. Once you've lit it, you can use the two wheels to rotate this. And you want to try and hit this giant beacon down here. Once that one's hit, go to the other lighthouse that was on your left when you were coming in. Once you get there, again, light the torches at the bottom of the walkway, climb all the way up the lighthouse, light the beacon, adjust the things, and hit this giant beacon. Once both of those beacons are lit, the dock to the Sea Dogs Tavern, along with some of the stairs, will appear. Then head over to that dock, climb up it, and you're going to want to start scaling the tavern. Now, while you're doing this, look for these braziers. You want to light them. There should be five. Then continue climbing. Second one should be here. Third one will be here. fourth one over here and the fifth and final one is up here once they're all lit head over to this capstan raise it all the way up if it's not letting you access this capstan that means at least one of the beacons is still not lit once it's raised head back to the lighthouse that was on your left when you came in then aim it at this giant beacon here once that's lit it'll make more of the parkour up here this will also spawn a ladder from the ocean up to that area so swim over here grab the ladder climb all the way up do the parkour 
get over here, and then light this brazier. That will cause this beacon to appear, then go to the farthest away lighthouse, which should be just in front of you, light it, and then rotate it and hit this beacon. That will then cause the rest of the parkour to appear, along with another ladder. Go all the way back up, continue down the parkour, you'll get to a drawbridge, raise this capstan to lower the bridge. I don't know any footage of this because I didn't do it. And just a quick side note, you do actually have to help lower the drawbridge for one of the deeds, so if you want the title, you gotta do this at some point. It also was crew-wide though, so your crewmate could do it and it'll still count. And then you can talk to Merrick to finish the escape room. Now, quick side note, talking to Merrick will trigger the ending cutscene. The ending cutscene is crew specific. So you don't have to worry about missing the cutscene as long as none of your crewmates trigger it prematurely. So what you wanna do is if you're in a bigger crew, just, just wait there for your crewmates and then start it and then you guys can all watch the ending cutscene together. Also at the end of the ending cutscene, it will teleport you out of the Twister Tavern and you will leave any of the crews that you met here. Also while you're waiting, there's a ton of gold in the room underneath where the brethren are. All right, once you're ready to start the cutscene, talk to Merrick and hit, that's right, you're being officially rescued. Watch the ending cutscene. Once the cutscene's over, you'll get teleported to the leaving tunnel where the Pirate Lord will come up and talk to you for a bit. Then you'll get teleported to one of these stone arches just outside one of the outposts. Turn your ship around, head to the outpost and talk to Lorena. Then hit continue adventure. Lorena will give you a note from Merrick to Sherrick. Then you'll have to sail to North Star Seapost and deliver that note to Sherrick. Once you get there, deliver the letter to Sherrick and then you get the final, final cutscene. And then you are done the adventure and you should have the Hunter's Repost Memento and you might have the Defender of the Damned title. If you wanna check, either check if it's in your vanity chest or go into your menu and then adventures, go to a Hunter's Cry and then hit deeds. So list the deeds here. And all of these are crew wide, by the way. So enter the Sea of the Damned, easy. That's, you have to do that. Light a lighthouse beacon. That's just take the soul flame and go light one. Defeat three ghost ships. You can't miss this one, but it's not too bad. You could just go back and then take them out. Help lower the drawbridge. This one I think is the easiest to miss as I'm pretty sure you have to raise that anchor, but I'm not confident in how that one tracks. Rescue Merrick, that's just watch the ending cutscene and deliver the letter to Sherrick, it's just watch the other ending cutscene. Anyway, that should be pretty much everything. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. I'll try them as soon as possible. If, if you found this video helpful, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like, that'd be great. I make see these guys like this every week, so if that sounds like something that'd be interesting to you, if you would consider subscribing, that would mean a lot. And I uh, will see you guys next time.